Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Emily B and Fabulous situation. So I know a lot of you guys have been tagging me in this video that went viral yesterday. Basically, Emily B was seen at Coachella. Well, guess what? Oh, my God. Let me pretend to be shocked. Fabulous. No, I'm not fucking shocked, okay? So a lot of folks want to know my opinion on this situation. A lot of people are dragging her. A lot of people are really upset about this because they're like, you know what? You claimed you got your two front teeth knocked out. He threatened to kill you, your father, and your brother. And now you're sitting here at Coachella with this man as if you didn't just have a public dispute with him not even a few weeks ago. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video of Emily and Fab. They're basically walking through Coachella and a lot of people confirm seeing them together. Go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments. Commentary. All right, y'all. So y'all just saw that video. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all know how I feel about Emily B. I think Emily B is a very weak chick. She's always come off to me as a weak chick. You know, I've spoken about this in previous videos. Um, you know, she likes to have black women fight her battles, just like when Chrissy sat there and whooped Cambella's ass. That wasn't a beef that Chrissy and Cambella had. Chrissy jumped into that fight and whooped Cambella over Emily B because Cambella admitted to Emily B that she smashed Fabulous. <laughs> Now, one time the Emily B really react, you know, you could tell she was sad, but she wasn't even trying to fight Cambella yet. This black woman, Chrissy, jumped into it and whooped Cambella's ass, okay? But with that being said, you know, a lot of people are saying that, you know, Emily B is stupid. We were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. She's a weak bitch. You know, fuck her. She gets no sympathy. I hope he ends up, you know, knocking out the rest of her teeth. You know, a lot of folks are dragging her, but I'll say this. I'm not going to drag her. You know, me stating that she's weak is facts. She has a very weak personality. She has a very mild, meek disposition, okay? She's not one of these raw, raw chicks, you know, and Fabulous knows what he's doing with her, okay? Let's also not forget that there's a psychological effect that happens to women. When some women are in an abusive relationship, there ends up being this, you know, dependency on their abuser. It's almost like a Stockholm syndrome, you know what I'm saying? Emily B cannot see herself with anybody other than Fabulous. And I don't know if that's due to her own personal low self-esteem or if that's due to how, you know, the things that Fabulous has told her over the years. Fabulous clearly does not want to have anything to do with this woman, okay? Because he can't stop fucking around with other people. He's tried to let her know for years that he does not want to be with her. but she keeps lingering around in hopes that he'll finally come around and be that husband that she really wants, okay? I feel like Emily B has some deep psychological issues and I feel like, you know, it's not really social media's job to like drag her and go in on her. The woman needs to seek a psychiatrist because from what I saw in that video, in my heart of hearts, I don't feel like that was the first time that Fabulous ever put his hands on her. I feel like Fabulous has probably been abusing her, but this was the first time that it went mainstream and it went public as it did, okay? I feel like the only way that Emily B will come out of that situation is if she gets with a good psychiatrist and they finally convince her that she will be okay without Fabulous. Until she realizes that, she's not going to leave that situation. And she's not the first to do this. There's so many regular women every day who end up going back to their abusers. They end up being re-abused. You know, Emily B is not the first one to go back to her abusers, okay? It's just that she's in the public eye. She's a public figure. So people want to go ahead and drag her. But how many of your own homegirls been slapped, punched, and abused, cheated on by their baby's father or boyfriend, and then a week later, they're back together? And then at that point, you told yourself, you know what? I'm not involving myself no more because every time I get involved and try and have her back, she runs back to her abuser. This is the same situation. So I'm not shocked at all that Emily B is back with Fabulous because so many regular smuggler women do this. And I think what a lot of people need to realize is that celebrity is just a term that we give people. And as human beings, we all have human pathologies, okay? And she's being a human being and, she, and she's doing what most abused women do. They end up going back to their abuser. And especially, okay, especially if that abuser is 
is somebody who has money, fame, and power. Because like I said before, some of these women know a comfortable roof over their head when they see one. If you got a chick who will go back to an abuser who's nothing more than a fry cook, okay, why would y'all be surprised about a chick going back to an abuser who's fabulous, who's a rich rapper who everybody knows, who people respected up until now? So I'm not surprised at all by the moves that Emily B is making. While I find it disappointing because she has a daughter who's watching this and she has sons who's watching this, it's disappointing, but I cannot be shocked because regular schmegler women do this every single day, okay? These women are not doing nothing different than your homegirl has done or than your auntie has done or that you yourself has done, okay? So let's keep that all the way 100. So I'm not going to be on this whole Emily B shaming bandwagon and saying that she doesn't deserve my sympathy or, you know, what I'm saying, fuck her. You know, she's on her own. I'm not jumping on that. I'm just going to put it out there like this and let you guys know that she's human, just like a lot of y'all are human. And as human beings, we all participate in this thing called insanity, okay? Sometimes it's relationships, sometimes it's issues at your job, but what is the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result, okay? And I've been on that insanity train and it took me a long time to hop off that bitch, okay? And it's going to take somebody like Emily B, probably even longer because she has a very weak mild disposition. My disposition is not as weak and mild as hers, but somebody with that disposition, it tends to take them a little bit longer. So hopefully she will find the strength within herself. Hopefully she will seek out a psychologist and get out of that situation. And I understand she's probably trying to help, you know, fabulous, you know, make himself look good against the public eye, but I'm not buying none of that bullshit. What I saw in that video was very, very disturbing to me. So fabulous will always get the side eye for me point blank period. So we need to stop making this more or less about Emily B going back to her abuser and focus on the fact that she was abused in the first place. Cause I see a lot of people letting Fabulous off the hook and saying, oh well, you know, she went back to him then whatever, if he punches her again, oh well, that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? That's not okay. Nobody should be abused. I don't care if you're a man in an abusive relationship and a woman is putting her hands on you or vice versa. Nobody deserves to get hit on in any type of relationship. So I'm not taking away from the wrong that Fabulous has done to her. Just because she wants to be weak and go back to him, that's on her. But that does not absolve him of the shit that he put her through. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. That is my opinion on this whole situation of these two walking through Coachella together. Like, you know, we in love in this bitch. I'm not buying it, but I'm also not going to sit here and drag her. Because again, a lot of y'all, including myself, when I say y'all, that is myself included, have been on that insanity bus of doing the same dumb shit over and over again until you grew fucking tired of it. So let's keep that all the way 100. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Nikki! <laughs>guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos talk to y'all later deuces